11 Things You Can Do When Your Feelings Are Hurt A Guide to Healing and Letting Go Unless you've been living in a bubble inside a deep sea cave somewhere, you've probably had your feelings hurt at least a few times. If you haven't, consider yourself lucky, because emotional pain is part and parcel of the human experience. The key to navigating hurt feelings lies in how we process them. Rather than letting emotional wounds fester, causing unnecessary damage to ourselves or others, we can adopt strategies to heal and regain our emotional balance. Here are 11 ways to handle hurt feelings and heal with grace. 1. Sit with the hurt instead of trying to avoid it. When physical pain strikes, we instinctively deal with it by allowing our bodies time to heal, whether that's by applying ice to a bruise or sitting still after a stubbed toe. The same approach can be applied to emotional pain. Instead of rushing to distract yourself or suppress your feelings, allow yourself to experience the hurt. Whether it's crying or sitting in quiet contemplation, embrace the discomfort and let it flow through you. Just like the pain from a bruise eventually fades, emotional pain will pass when you stop resisting it. 2. Do something physical. Ever noticed how your mind feels clearer after a walk or a workout? That's because physical activity helps release pent-up emotions. When your feelings are hurt, your body may enter a state of fight or flight, which floods you with adrenaline. Channel that energy into movement, whether it's running, stretching, or even punching a pillow. Physical exercise helps reduce stress hormones while releasing endorphins that alleviate emotional pain, clearing your mind and preparing you to take productive next steps. 3. Determine whether the hurt is from the present or the past. Sometimes, our reactions to hurtful situations aren't purely about what's happening in the moment, but are triggered by old wounds that have yet to heal. Take some time to reflect. Is the hurt you're feeling directly related to what someone just said or did? Or is it stirring up unresolved pain from your past? Understanding the source of your hurt can give you clarity and help you address the right issue, whether it's something that needs healing from the past or something you can resolve in the present. 4. Avoid taking drastic actions while you're feeling bad. When your feelings are hurt, the worst thing you can do is act impulsively. Whether it's sending a heated message, breaking up with someone out of frustration, or confronting someone when you're emotional, these actions often lead to regret. Instead, take a step back. Allow yourself time to cool off and reflect on the situation rationally. Immediate reactions might feel satisfying in the moment, but they can create unnecessary conflict or irreversible consequences. 5. Stand your ground rather than retaliate. In some situations, especially when someone intentionally hurts you, the temptation to retaliate can be overwhelming. However, fighting back or escalating the situation rarely helps. Instead, stand your ground calmly. If someone insults you, don't let them off the hook easily. Ask them to explain their words and confront their behavior directly, but do so in a way that doesn't escalate the conflict. By doing this, you not only protect your dignity, but also put the other person in a position where they have to reflect on their actions. 6. Revenge won't heal your hurt. It might seem tempting to seek revenge or make the other person feel bad for hurting you. But this doesn't solve the problem, nor does it heal your emotional wound. Hurting someone in return only prolongs the cycle of pain. Instead, recognize that the pain you feel is yours to address, and focusing on retaliation will only leave you feeling worse. In the long run, breaking the cycle of hurt with kindness or assertiveness will bring you more peace than seeking revenge. 7. Cultivate stoicism instead of victimhood. It's easy to fall into the trap of playing the victim when our feelings are hurt. However, cultivating stoicism can help us regain control. Stoicism teaches us to accept what we cannot change and focus on what we can control. Our response. Yes, it's painful when others hurt us, but the pain is temporary, and we have the power to let it go. 
Instead of letting the hurt define you, choose to remain calm and detached, knowing that time will heal your wound and that you can move on without clinging to negativity. 8. Exorcise your emotions through ritual or creativity. If your hurt feelings are lingering despite your efforts to process them, it might help to engage in a creative or ritualistic activity to exorcise them. Whether it's creating art, writing a letter, or performing a ritual, expressing your emotions tangibly allows you to externalize them and begin the healing process. You can write down your feelings in a letter, either to the person who hurt you or just to express yourself. Alternatively, you could write your emotions on paper and burn it as a symbolic act of letting go. 9. Overwrite crappy experiences with great ones. When you're dealing with hurt feelings, it's easy to get stuck in a negative spiral. A great way to heal is to intentionally create new, positive experiences that overwrite the painful ones. For example, if someone cancels plans with you and it hurts your feelings, replace that negative experience by planning something enjoyable with friends or family. Commit to making new memories that will help you shift your focus away from the hurt and create new associations that bring joy and satisfaction. 10. Talk to someone about what you're going through. Sometimes, talking things out with a trusted friend or family member can make all the difference. Sharing your feelings allows you to release the emotional weight and gain perspective on the situation. Sometimes, others can provide insights that you might not have considered. Whether it's a close friend, a counselor, or a family member, talking about what's bothering you can lighten the emotional load and help you process what you're feeling. 11. Be aware of your own role in how you're feeling and learn to let go. Ultimately, no one can make you feel a certain way unless you allow them to. Hurt feelings often arise from how we interpret and react to situations. It's essential to recognize that you have control over your emotional responses. While other people's words or actions may be hurtful, you can choose how to respond. By letting go of the need to control or blame others, you free yourself from unnecessary suffering. This practice of emotional detachment allows you to maintain peace, no matter the external circumstances. Final thoughts. No matter how much you try to avoid it, Hurt feelings are a part of life. However, the way we handle them makes all the difference in our emotional well-being. Rather than letting your feelings fester or seeking revenge, try implementing some of these strategies to heal and regain control. Remember, emotional pain is temporary, and with the right mindset and actions, you can rise above it stronger than before. Healing your hurt feelings may not happen overnight, but with patience and self-compassion, you will come out the other side with a renewed sense of inner peace and emotional resilience. So, the next time your feelings are hurt, remember, it's not the hurt that defines you, but the way you choose to handle it. If you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comment section down below, and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end. Also make sure to check out our next highlighted video, and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.